Hi everybody, we're going to do a what am I wearing and why. So today I'm wearing the Armoury's Model 11 suit jacket. This is part of a full suit, but I'm just wearing the jacket part. I'm wearing an Armoury standard shirt, which is a new thing we're doing with 100 hands. We'll get into that a little bit later. I'm wearing a Drake's bespoke tie in Black Barathea. I'm wearing a pair of Pamela trousers that were bespoke for me in Vitali Barbaris Canonico's 4-ply. And then I've got a pair of Dwayne loafers um, in Black Grain. So this was a special I did for myself, just trying to get a sense of like, how they look and I like them. So we might put them into production or we might put them up as a pre-order later in the year or well, I guess next year. Um, also for my wrist check today, I've got the Audemars Piguet 56175. This was their old 34 millimeter series of watches in quartz, um, which actually allows it to have a very low profile like that. I absolutely love these. I used, to, I used to have a couple of them. This is the only one I kept. And this one actually is in tantalum and steel. Um, Nick Faldo, when he first started being kind of part of uh, AP's ambassador program. Um, when he won his first championship in the 90s, uh, they made this watch as part of a celebration of that event. So there's like 1,500 of these, I think, floating around in the world. And if you ever get a chance to check one out, um, they're worth it. They're really great watches, you know? 56175 uh, TT, that's the designation for Tantalum and Steel. All right, um, why did I wear this today? I wanted to talk a little bit about blue and black outfits, um, you know, when I was going to college, I remember a lot of people would wear those like black North Face polar things and then kind of yucky jeans. And that was like the uniform at school, right? Lots and lots and lots of people wear that. And I always thought it looked so, so bad. Um, so it kind of like put me off that look, put me off putting those two colors together for life. Um, but I think like in a tailored context where you have much more opportunity to like layer and to add in different textures and you know even like within the world of blue and black like there's nuances to it as well um, it can be quite an interesting way to to it can be quite an interesting combination for an outfit so i wore it today so you can see what it looks like um, so in the case of this this is the armory's model 11 suit from this season and it's kind of like a it's more like an air force blue like it has a lot of, it's quite gray rather than very strongly blue um, but it sits nicely in contrast with black and especially black like this, right? So I do my black ties in Barathea. I do them as a special order from Drake's. And, you know, the Barathea has like a little bit more of a matte effect. It's definitely not like shiny or even like satiny looking. Um, and then, you know, I put it together with gray trousers like this. So there's a little bit more contrast from jacket to trouser. And then, you know, because it's a little bit of an unusual color combination, I don't want to introduce too many colors into the palette. Um, so I just keep it tight with black loafers like that, you know? So all you're really seeing is shades of blue, a little bit of gray, and then black. And in fact, like, I think it would look fine also if I just wore the full suit, but I wanted to wear a sport jacket today. So keep it in mind, try it out yourself. Like it's always the trick, uh, the trick to it is always trying to find like the right shades of blue and black, um, but you never know, they might already be in your wardrobe. And if not, you know where to buy them from. Um, I got a few announcements today. So first one is, uh, you know, obviously we had the Black Friday sale, for Drop 93 last week. Uh, because it's the first Saturday of the month, we always do this thing at Drop 93 where we have an open day. And part of the open day is we always do a, some additional discounts. So we're actually running the 20% off from last week just for this weekend as well, um, just for consistency sake, I suppose. So check it out, drop93.com or go to the showroom because the showroom is having an open day. So you can actually just show up in Light Zcock and go up and have a look at what we have in person. Um, second thing, we are doing something with this lovely pile of cloth here. So the Hong Kong store traditionally has always had a lot of kind of interesting vintage bolts or like sample bolts or end bolts sitting around and we sell them to customers. Um, we make garments out of them, obviously. We are going to be starting a little cloth store in our New York shop at the Westbury on the Upper East Side. Um, we're gonna have a section of just cloth and you can go and you can peruse and browse and you can buy the cloth on its own or you're, you can request it to be made into tailored garments, into 3PBs, City Hunters, whatever you like. Um, so check that out. That's coming out uh, hopefully later this month or maybe early next year. We'll see. And then another exciting announcement. We are also doing something with Real McCoys. So I'm very excited to announce that Real McCoys are going to be having a little pop-up shop at our Upper East Side store at the Westbury as well. And that should be starting sometime late next week. So keep an eye out for that. All right, that's about it for now. Um, I mentioned very briefly that we were actually doing something with 100 hands, uh, hence I'm wearing this new Armory Standard shirt. Uh, so I will shoot a video about that next. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.